Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing very well. In today's video, we are taking a look at the internal resistance values. If we have a small offset in internal resistance values from one battery to another, does that mean we should expect a massive performance difference or a small performance difference? This is one of the questions that was asked in one of the previous videos. And in this video, we're gonna go through it. I'll walk you through exactly that because the answer does change depending on which side of the spectrum spectrum this particular battery is on. So taking a look at the chart in front of us, this was also a suggestion by a viewer of the channel where I order this specific chart from smallest to largest on the internal resistance rated C rating rather than the C rating that we see in red. So on the left hand side of this data, we have the poor performing batteries that have a very low internal resistance based C rating. And on the right hand side, we have the highest performing batteries. The internal resistance test as well as the loaded performance test both show the exact same relationship with a strong correlation. So I'm gonna jump off of this screen and we're gonna take a look at now this next one here, which is dealing with the internal resistance versus the continuous current that we would expect from that internal resistance. The point of this chart is to demonstrate and show the relationship that is true. And that is, as our internal resistance becomes lower, the amount of performance that we can get out of that battery pack tends to increase more rapidly. And you can see that as we move from right to left, you can see it slowly increase. And then when we get somewhere around this two and a half mark point, the slope starts to get much steeper, climbing up to a larger number very quickly. And this relationship really ultimately holds true and shows us the differences in the battery packs. Let's first start off by talking about battery packs that were in this particular slide on the left-hand side, such as the Yumi Turnigy Rapid, the Z battery pack there that we have. If you are on that side of the graph, you're gonna be on the right-hand side of this particular chart, in which case we might see a seven milliohm average internal resistance. Let's assume somewhere in the six to seven and a half. So if you take a look at these numbers, and I have corresponding values here below, if you're looking at six, your maximum continuous current is gonna be about 72. And if you're looking at seven here, your maximum continuous current is going to be 67 amps. So as you can see just from that data alone, using this particular formula, small differences in internal resistance at the high end of the internal resistance range that we've measured on 28 different battery packs suggest a very subtle amount of performance difference. And this is exactly what is happening at the high range of internal resistances. Now, if we go and look at the middle grounds, and, and that's somewhere around the three and a half mark. So if we look at three and look at four, when we have these values, three is about 102 amps continuous. And if we have number four, it's about 88 amps continuous. There's also a subtle difference, but it's more significant than looking at the internal resistances that came from the high end of this particular chart. In this case, we have a 14 amp difference between those two values. So more significant, but still not largely different. And that is even going from, you know, four milliohms from seven. Now, if we take a look at like the half a milliohm, this is now looking at the, ex the full extent on the short end of this particular chart. If we're looking at half ohm to 1.5, we can see at 1.5, you get 144 amps and 0.5, you get 250 amps. Now we can see that there's a massive difference in the amount of current capability that this battery would be able to provide if it has this type of internal resistance. That shows us that on the low end of the milliohm range, there's a massive difference when you get a subtle change in internal resistance. Now we have to ask ourselves why? What is actually going on here? Well, really when you look at the internal resistance going from seven, as a good example to six and a half, you're only knocking off the internal resistance by a very small percentage. And if we go from our one milliohm to half a milliohm, this is the same jump in terms of overall milliohms, it's a half a milliohm drop, and we just did that half a milliohm drop comparison. This is also going from one to half milliohm, cutting the overall internal resistance by half. This is a massive boost. In other words, we should expect to see a very large 
large jump in current because the resistance is disappearing very quickly. And then when we take a look at the opposite side here, going from one milliohm, we have 177 continuous amps there. And if we cut that literally in half, the half milliohm step here does exactly that. It takes our internal resistance and multiplies it by 50%, we get 250 amps continuous. That is a massive jump and it comes down to the internal resistance is significantly changing here. You're gonna have much less waste heat and that is what exactly translates into more power potential for that particular battery pack. The last point to make is that the calculations performed here on this chart happen to come from 5,000 milliamp hour battery packs. That's the value that I picked just because we've done so much testing around that particular size. If you are dealing with battery packs that are more around the 2200 milliamp hour capacity, your internal resistance would shift higher. They will be larger because they would take a larger internal resistance there in order to come up with the same C rating as compared with these large capacity battery packs. On the opposite side of this spectrum, if you have battery packs that are closer to the 10,000 milliamp hour mark, your internal resistances would shift more towards the left hand side of this particular chart, even from zero to somewhere around the three milliohms, just because internal resistances are gonna be further reduced with larger battery capacities. Exact opposite versus the smaller batteries. Well guys, hope you enjoyed it. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget that we're continuing to update the radiocontrolinfo.com website. I am definitely still working on lots of things that are gonna be really cool for that. There's gonna be the chance for us in February to become a member of that particular site and gain access to some really cool things there. I'm gonna share more with you once we get there. And that really does it. Like it if you do, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.